National Training and Development Curriculum for Foster and Adoptive Parents. Brain Basics Bruce Perry, MD, PhD, Child Trauma Academy, Senior Fellow. If you look at this simple model of the brain, uh, part of what we're trying to illustrate with this image is that the brain's organized in a hierarchical fashion, it, it, from the lowest and simplest parts all the way up to the highest and most complex parts of the brain. And this top part of the brain, everybody's probably heard of the term cortex. And that part of the brain is involved in planning and speech and language and knowing right from wrong. And then when you go way down to the bottom part of the brain, this is the part of the brain that's involved in regulating heart rate, blood pressure, respiration, very simple functions. And so as you go from the bottom to the top, the brain gets increasingly complex. And the interesting thing is, the ability to tell time is actually something that is uh, mediated by the top part of the brain. So the lower part of your brain, very simple, very primitive, very regulatory, and the truth is when information comes into that part of the brain, that part of the brain can't tell whether or not this is an experience that's happening now or this is an experience that happened 10 years ago. And this becomes a problem particularly if your experiences 10 years ago were characterized by threat and your brain made connections between certain sights, sounds, and smells and threat. So uh, almost all of the parents who have worked with children who've come out of uh, adversity have seen behaviors that are confusing at times and, and in large part, the confusion arises from the fact that the brain of the child is processing the present as if it was the past. And this is a really simple but important principle about how the brain processes information. For more information, visit ntdcportal.org. This video was funded by the Children's Bureau, Administration on Children, Youth, and Families, Administration for Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, under grant number 90C01134. The contents of this video are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of the Children's Bureau.